All right, we're going to create and animate a Mixamo character that we made ourselves in SketchUp. So I'm using the web-based free version of SketchUp. Delete her, and I'm just going to make a super simple kind of robot character. So we'll do this. This will be his head. It's got a little off-center. We're going for speed more than quality here. I'm just using the R key and the P key to change between rectangle and the push-pull tool. SketchUp is fun. There we go. Let's give him some legs. There. Make this one. Sure, whatever. Uh-huh. Make that one a little short. Yeah, long. And this one and that one. And... We'll infer the length there to make sure they come out right. Looks good. Save that. His name is Reboot. And export STL, which is a 3D format. And in the free version, it's the only 3D format you get. And Mixamo won't take that, so you actually need to convert it, which is pretty quick. Um, I already did one in practice. Um, MeshConvert.com seems to do a nice job of this. Pick your file. I'm picking OBJ and start that processing. While that's going, um, the scene that I created, I'm using from the asset store, just this free fighting game level. Um, just kind of makes it look neat. You're also gonna need your animator panel under uh, window uh, animation animator panel. Uh, we'll be using that here in a little bit. There is my file with a .stl, which is kind of confusing. I need, I need to rename that, it's gonna bother me. How about dash obj? So I really know that that's the obj. So in Mixamo, we have these characters and then the built-in animations. You can animate any character with any of those animations. But I'm going to upload my own, and I'm going to use my obj that I just converted. And we're going to put them in the, uh, the old T pose. There we go. Next. Place the markers. Uh, that's kind of his chin, I guess. Wrist would maybe be... Oh, symmetry? Yeah, we're not symmetrical at all. Uh, elbows, I guess, in there and there. Knees, one's up here, one's kind of down here. Groin, I guess, in there. Uh, sure. Next, auto-rigging. Okay, the auto-rigging is done, and there he is. Hit next. Proceed with this character. Next. There he is. So now we go to animations and we can click any animation. So like uh, the Samba dancing. Look at that guy go. <laughs> All right. Um, we could have him. Uh, he's so defeated feeling. Um, you know, let's just pick uh, oh, hip hop dancing. Yeah, he kind of. I wish there was one of him doing the robot. Um, but yeah, he looks good with uh, hip hop dancing too. So we can play around with these things and I'm not really sure, but, uh, let's download it and change this to FBX for unity. And that stuff looks good. Hit download. And there's our file right there. We're going to import. So we go in here, uh, let's go to our assets and import new asset. There it is. And this has a lot of things inside of it. Um, let's just throw them in the scene there. Zoom in a little bit. Um, if I hit play right now, not a whole lot's going to happen um, because you need the animator on this guy. So if you type in anima animator, there it is. So we need a controller to run that. Um, and that's what this is going to be used for. So in our assets, create animator controller I'll call this a uh, reboot animator controller and we'll throw that if we click on this throw that into where it wants the controller so now whatever we do here is now tied to my robot reboot um, and the animation is not actually in there yet um, so if you expand this out this is the actual hip hop dancing. So I can throw that in here and uh, 
if we click on here we can we can set the speed I'm gonna double his speed so he dances a little bit faster and let's see if it does something now so if we hit play and there he goes let him go Ta-da! well he does it once but we did get him to dance um, we could do a couple of things we could uh, in the animator uh, we could control D that and then we could transition to this and when that one's done right click and transition to that it's funny because when you play it it plays kind of like a little video file right here there he goes I should speed this up even more let's speed this up it's still a little slow but we got him to go and then he starts over again right there with the hip-hop dancing could have had him switch into some other kind of dance not too bad though if you did want to switch him into another type of dance uh, let's change him into let's sure let's go for quarterback pass he seems pretty athletic um, yeah let's do that FPX for Unity. Um, all we really need out of that is if, if we import that we can throw that into one of our uh, animation states here um, so let's import that last one we did import new asset uh, there's the quarterback pass and if I expand that there's the animation right there let's delete that one put this one in here and say you're gonna go from hip-hop dancing straight to the pass okay we're gonna speed this up to like a six make this like a two hit play it's got a better view and he throws the ball nice hey reboot has been booted up and we'll see what we can do more with him next time